A shocking double murder rocked the Fort Atkinson community in the summer of 2020. Lance Fieser is digging deeper into 911 calls, body cam footage, and in-depth interviews as two and a half years later, the search for the suspect continues. In the quiet farm country outside of Fort Atkinson, Jim and Nedra Lemke built a small business and a bustling family with five kids. My dad was a very a stereotypical, like, just man's man. He built everything himself. He fixed everything himself. Mom was a super sweetheart. Um, the term we always, my dad always used, you know, I, that they broke the mold with that with that lady. Josh Lemke returned home to be with his parents for the funeral of Nedra's father on June 12, 2020. That was his first glimpse at the family tension over his grandfather's estate. Nedra had been named the executor of that estate, angering her older brother, convicted felon Kevin Anderson. Jim Lemke asked his son if he'd bring a gun to the funeral. Probably the only time uh, my dad's asked me specifically, like, hey, are you going to be, because we were heading to the funeral. He asked me specifically if I was going to be carrying that day. Just days after that funeral, Nedra called her brother Kevin to tell him that she was going to come out to their father's farm to mow the lawn. When she arrived with her husband, Jim, shortly before 6 p.m., they noticed some broken windows on the house and called 911 to report a potential burglary. There's windows broken out and windows open, and we had locked the house down. So we used to have someone um, come look at this before I walk into the house. Yeah, please don't go in because we don't know if someone's still in there. An officer arrived 12 minutes later and saw Nedra's body on the ground. He immediately radioed for backup. Shots fired at the residence! Shots fired! The suspect opened fire on the deputy from the house. The deputy returned fire with four shots. As the shootout ended, smoke came rising from the home. There's a bunch of black smoke coming from the area of the residence now. Flames are visible. As the home went up in flames, the search began. Officers found Jim and Nedra Lemke's bodies, as well as Kevin Anderson's truck hidden in a garage, but no sign of their suspect and no remains in the burned out house. Officers used a drone plus canine units and officers on the ground to comb the nearby woods. There's probably nearly a thousand acres of wooded area and marsh and the grass is tall. It's really hard to see. Anderson wasn't found in the area, and in the coming weeks and months, there were no credible sightings. We got a few tips, um, some information that comes in, but once we vet it out, we find out this person is similar, but it's not that, it's not the Kevin Anderson we're looking for. Police put out warrants for Anderson's arrest and asked hunters to be on the lookout. But two and a half years later, the search continues. If I don't have evidence that he's deceased, then I have to also have that uh, consider that he's alive as well. Police say they have no reason to believe Anderson had any help, but they hold out hope that someone may hold the key to finding him. You know, anybody that knows him or has thought of something or maybe they dismissed it at first. The silence over the past two years has been hard to process for the Lemke's loved ones. Having like closure to the story itself, I mean, has plenty of value in and of itself that there's not this guy walking around doing whatever he wants to do now. Kevin Anderson has been charged with two counts of homicide and one count of attempted homicide. Anyone with information that they think could be relevant to the search for him is asked to call the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. Those contact numbers are at WKOW.com.